Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Steinway Classic, the third annual Steinway Classic 2014. I'm Upstate Al, and I'm going to be joined in the booth by Mr. Mike Fingers, Mike Badstubner. And we got an exciting matchup for you right now. Um, the Earl Strickland, USA versus Russia. Earl Strickland versus Eugene Staliv. It's going to be a race to nine. The players are about to start. Just warming up. It looks like Earl won the lag. We want to thank Lacasse Q's, Lacasse Hybrid, Gotham City Technologies, Ron Mason's company. FA Clothing Line. Of course, NYC Grind is on board doing this co-production alongside us with the Predator Tour. We got to get right back to the action because it looks like Eugene Staliv is about to break in game one. Welcome aboard, Mr. Michael Fingers. We're also going to have Larry Ross, the legendary sit-in. How you doing? Great. Great. Everything going? Give me two seconds. I got to talk to Manny. Sure. All right. Looks like... Uh if Jenny broke pretty good, he sank the 10 ball, which is going to come back up. And uh, he really doesn't look like he's got too many problems here. He's got to cut the one in. He might come uh, two rails and play the two on the side if he can't hold the cue. He can come past it and play it in the corner. But uh, from here, it looks like he doesn't have too much trouble. With brand new cloth, so it's quick. So he can't hold it, so he's going to have to try and bank something. He has no trouble, but he'll bank it. He should be able to bank and just stay right there. For the it looks like it's a three ball. Looks yeah. like he's got the three, four, eight, nine, and ten left. Yeah, but he <coughs> he's got to be careful here a little bit. That's why he could lose the cue here. Maybe play safe. Well, if he just has to bank it cross side and get down for the three, he just almost has to play a stop shot. And he overcut it. See? I, yeah, I didn't. He, he wanted to hold it so he don't lose the cue for the three, and he missed the bank. Right. Earl has an option to give it back. Uh, yeah, he does. I don't think he's going to, though. Well, he can see it. Yeah, but what's he going to do with it? Play it in the corner? I would have, well, should have given it back. He gave it back, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Have Jenny's back in control. He's, he's got a little bit of a tricky position here because he wants to draw the cue off the three, but the ten's in the way, so he's going to have to go forward. Between the 10 and the side pocket, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, he could stay under the side pocket. Good shot. He just has to come straight down the center of the table. Well, he decided to go three rails, it looks like. Yeah, most uh, players, except for the real straight pool European players, they all like to use the table. Right. Well, there you go. Staleb is going to be up one nothing against Earl Strickland. It's the second day of the Steinway Classic. Yeah. We are in Steinway Billiards. New York, five minutes outside of Manhattan. This is going to be the start of a full week of pool because the straight two, pool the, championship. Yeah, the 2014 World Straight Pool Championships are going to be this week too. They're going to start tomorrow. So if you guys are in the area, man, I would highly suggest you come down. You're going to watch the best players on the planet. Right now, we're watching the winner's side, final eight of the Ginky Memorial. I think it's the third annual Ginky Memorial. Mm. 
I'd like to give a big shout out to everybody who makes this possible. We're going to go over the sponsors pretty soon. AZ Billiards, AZ BTV, Predator Pro-Am, NYC Grind, just to name a few. All right, Stelev is going to break again. Let's see if he can duplicate the first break. He hit him pretty good. Doesn't look like anything's going to drop, though, this time. And Earl's going to step to the table with a decent shot of the one. And he's got to try and get on the two. Looks like he can get past the 10. Good shot. Once he can get to the four ball, that ought to be it. I mean, he can draw this under the three. There you go. Yeah, he looks like he's uh, he's pretty good from here. He doesn't really have any trouble spots. If anything, uh, the only trouble spot he's going to have is getting from the 7 to the 8. And then that shouldn't be too much of a problem. No scores yet. Looks yeah, like one it, nothing. Yeah, it is. Stilev has got one. Sorry about that, folks. We're just putting things together over here. One nothing in favor of Eugene Stalev. But you know what? Earl Strickland. Uh, I think anybody that knows Earl Strickland is gonna about bet the lungs that he's out here. Yeah, he wanted to get a little more angle. Yeah, got a little funny here. We got play. He's gonna have to play the nine into the corner pocket. And just roll up and play the 10 in the same pocket. Yeah, or you can just kind of pop this and come off the rail a bit. That's it. Yeah. And uh, there you have it. Looks like Earl's going to end up tying this matchup. Tic tac toe, one apiece. The first match on the on the pay per view this morning. I'm loving it. There's action throughout the whole day. Hey, you know what? We really got to give a big shout out to Steinway Billiards here in the story of Queens, New York. And I just wanted you guys to keep abreast that uh, AZB TV and NYC Grind will be moving into Snookers August 30th through September 1st where three tours are getting together. There you have them. The Predator Pro-Am Tour will be moving up there. Ride the Nine Tour, which is Gloria Jean. And the New England Tour, which is... Mark Dion, all coming together to resurrect the Eastern State Championships. It used to be a really huge tournament. Uh, they used to compare it to the U.S. Open years ago. That's how big that tournament was. Right. So we're looking forward to that as we watch Earl Strickland set the break here in Game 3. Gonna like it. No, he did put two balls down now, but he didn't get the position on the one he wanted. You know, that's one thing that Earl keeps bringing up is that break. He says, if I can just perfect the break and get better at my break, he says, I would be dangerous. But he's <laughs> a five time yeah. world champion yeah. saying that. <laughs> you know? Larry, put on a headset if you're gonna talk to us, or else we're gonna give you a slap. <laughs> All right, you can't talk to us in the background. <laughs> We have Mr. Larry Ross talking to us, and I know you guys can't hear him, so we're, we're trying to avoid him because it's going to sound like we're talking to nobody because you can't hear his audio. We do have extra headsets on board. But he's, he's, right now he's just woken up, <laughs> and he's not fully awake yet. And, right. yeah, Mike, uh, just to keep you uh, abreast also, uh, starting tomorrow is the Andy Cloth 14.1 World Tournament. It's the 4th through the 9th. That's the other pay-per-view that we're doing. And that will start up tomorrow. The uh, players' meeting is actually today at 8 o'clock for that tournament. And, you know, that consists of, you know, Torsten Holman, Darren Appleton, plus a lot of players that are here. They're all in town for both of these tournaments. Right. Oh, it's a great week in New York for pool. Trying to put them behind the 8-ball. 
No, just didn't do it. He was in a tough spot there. I think Stilev is going to play the same shot because the one's going to get behind the nine, it looks like. He'll come two rails easily and get tied up by the eight. He might not get behind the eight, but he'll leave distance and he'll leave the nine in a way. Unless he kind of plays like a draw shot and, and draws the cue ball up in behind the two, which he just decided to play soft. I'm surprised. I don't agree with that at all. Earl's going to jump all over that. Yeah. Well, if Earl can just uh, stay in control. He'll put another beat on his side. Well, he's still got a cut shot on the three. Yeah, but he's all right. He's going to be fine. He could even... Well, he's got he's to worry about getting on the five, so... He's going to end up five in that corner. You'll see. How do you get that up from here? That's he's, the problem. He's going to go long rail, top rail, and come down. Unless he's... Yeah. Or just sucks it back. I don't think Long rail, top rail. Yeah, see, down. there was no way he could do that. He couldn't get there. He might play the 10 here. He might play the 10. Yeah. Well, He's looking at it. I don't know if I like it, though. He don't like it either, but he may have no choice. Called it, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, banking, I don't know. And he sunk it pretty good. Good shot, Earl Strickland. Yeah. Looks like he's up two to one, I think. Uh, I yeah. want to try and get an update on the score here. I'm not looking two at one. it in the booth. Yeah, it's, it's tough for us to see. It's going to be two to one, Earl. Yeah, it's two one. We're going to get that updated for you guys in just a second. Al's walking around trying to get some. Uh, some items addressed. Two one. Sure. What do you move? Oh, okay. I I got it then. All right. Earl. Okay. All right, again, he makes a good break. He's productive off it. He sunk a ball, but he doesn't really have a shot on the one. He's going to have to play safe. He's got to watch out for the four ball by the side pocket. If he wants to try and come maybe down behind the nine, yeah. Let's see if he can get underneath that nine, huh? How'd that turn out? Not too bad. Excellent shot from where he was. That's perfect. Talib is going to have to do something a little tricky here. <coughs> I'm not even sure he'll be able to hit it. He's going to have to pull something out of his hat. He probably can hit it. I mean, he can come close if he wants. Yep. Well, the four is in the way if he wants to try and go two rails. He's right up on the... He's only no, an inch he up can go behind the four and come off the bottom rail. He's got to go two rails to get there, though. And he's right on. He's only an inch up the rail, so it's kind of hard to judge that. So he might have to try and play three rails. He might have to play it short. In order to play it short, though, he won't get the spin he needs to get... Let's see how he, how, how he gets there. Yeah, it was kind of tough because yeah, of where that four was. That's where he had to get behind that four. And once again, Harold's in a pretty good spot right here. It's not the way uh, if Jenny wanted to well, start this match. Four ball is in a four balls in a little weird spot. Is it the four or the eight? No, it's the four. Yeah. Yeah, but based on where the three is, he can even if he gets down towards where the uh, five and ten are, he'll still have a shot on the four, and uh, he'll come one rail, maybe hit the six and stay on that five. 
I think he'll try to move the six with on one of the balls. No, I don't think he'll try that. I think it's too risky. He doesn't have to get a shot on the four if he does that. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to try and do that. I don't know. He can play forward two rails to get on the three. He can come back one rail to get on the three. He's got a lot of options. Well, it's, you know, sometimes he comes up with one that nobody thought of. Yeah, he does that a lot. <laughs> but a lot of times, you know, based on where the lay of the balls are, yeah. you know, what the lay of the balls are, I think the way I'm looking at it from here, I think the best chance he has is to get somewhere down by the 5'10". To give himself an open well, shot. He's going to try to move the four. He might try and go into the seven. If he can sneak here between the six and, and four. No, I, I think he's going to play the three and let the cue maybe move the four. No, I think that's too risky. I mean, he could, but he might not end up with a shot. I think he tries to come between the six and seven. Just like that. That's some shot. Yeah, that is. Now let's see what he can do from here. Punch it, baby. Yeah, they got all of that one. They're playing on that new Andy Claw. I'm gonna ask these guys how they like it. Well, I don't have any comment. It's definitely different than the Simonis. Yeah. Well, I was back in control again. Got no issues here. Should be able to get out. And he's going to take a commanding 3 1 lead in a second. In a race to nine. Yeah, that's At this level of play, there's no real commanding. Anyone can get up there and run packages. Well, true. At this level. True. But uh, you're much better off getting that early lead, you know. Puts yeah. the pressure and the heat on the other guy. Because yeah. even though these guys are both making balls on the break, Earl really isn't getting the best starting shot afterwards. And all that can change real quick. I mean, you've been around the game long enough. You know that the roles change well, we for everybody. We saw what happened yesterday on a couple of close matches that ended up uh, happy for one, unhappy for another. Right. But that's that's what the game is. All right, once Al gets back to the room, we're going to get the score updated. He made the one. He made the one. He does have an opening shot in the two, but he's jacked up over the seven. You know, so. I don't think he racked the balls too well for himself. <laughs> yeah, they look a little congested. No, 5'10 never moved. Yeah. Might have been a gap in there. A little bit of dirt, a little bit of chalk dust or something. Now, if the four goes past the nine into that corner, which it looks like it does, he might be able to draw this and stay above the seven, between the seven and the side pocket to come out for the four. Yeah, he tried to force it and go three rails. I don't think it came. I don't think the four passed. That that could be why he played it that way. Yeah. He tried to break right. it out. Get, oh, get it uh, to the side pocket. All right. I, yeah, I don't think the four passed. Feller's got to play a safe shot here. He's just going to play a soft little space. Uh, tried to play a little space behind the six there, but he didn't. He left him uh, left Earl Strickland an open shot. See, I don't think... Uh, uh, I don't think Stalev is playing all that great right now. No, he's not playing as much as he did. True, but even even still, he played two safeties that were very poor, poorly executed. Oh. Errol kind of mishit that shot. No, he didn't. Yeah, he overhit it. He didn't overhit it. He he came too far with the cue ball. He that's over, that's uh, overhitting it. Well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he <laughs> made the ball. <laughs> yeah, but he overstroked it. Yeah, That's, you right. want to get tactical, Larry. Yeah, all right. You but, know. Um, yeah, he's a little, a little stuck behind the nine ball now. Yeah. He might be able to play it in the upper left-hand corner. 
Well, he played a pretty good containing nice safety. Shot. Yeah, it's a yeah. good hit. Nice shot. No, Stalev is going to have to. Uh, of course, the 510, uh, you know, that five is. I like playing two rails, maybe three rails behind the six. Try and come between the five and seven. He, he came short. He came short of it. You see, he's not playing good at all. And Earl obviously is taking advantage of it. Yeah, and the problem is he's. I think he's got uh, one pocket for the side. He got the side pocket on the five. I don't even know if he has that. I think he does. He's looking at it. He's got to come down towards the seven. Unless he tries to hit him. Yeah, he overstroked that one too yeah. a little bit. Yeah. He was playing for the side. Uh -huh. Now, well, now what is he going to do? I think he's going to play off the bottom of the five and hope maybe to get to the somewhere near the nine with the cue. Well, you know what he could do? He could play almost full, cut the five a little bit to the right, mm -hmm. and then draw it one rail or two rails behind the seven. Now the cue looks like it'll come off the five yeah. into the nine and stay right there. He uh, I didn't hear what he said there, but... You see, he did exactly what I said he would yeah. do. Good call there. Yeah, but he just didn't get under the seven. Yeah. But again, now Stalev is again, he's going to have to play a safety. And we've seen previously he's come up short on uh, two different he's attempts. He's banking it. He's banking it. Called the bank. Yeah, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. See, he, I think the safety was so much easier. Two or three rails up behind the eight. And the, cue yeah. the five stays down here under the six. Once again, he left the door wide open for Earl. And there you have it. Earl is uh, he's throwing dots. Yeah, he's yeah at big targets too. He's not. Uh, Stalev is is handing him the set pretty much. You know, Earl's playing good, but when a guy misses and he leaves you easy stuff and he plays a bad safety and he allows you to get out, you know. That's a gift I'll take any day. Yeah. He's taking it also. Oh, yeah. All right, Earl's going to go up 4-1, to one, actually. We're going to try and get the score changed. I don't want to touch the settings oh because... Yeah. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how he does it. Let me get over here. No. All right, we're going to see how he does it for a second. You got it. Yeah, all right. Strickland. One, hit one. That's it. He's up four. Yeah. There you go. Huh? Well, We've got a new layout here, AZB TV. Yeah. Made the 10. That comes up and he keeps shooting, but he does have a shot. And again, he's over He's over a ball. Yeah. Uh, if you're paying attention, he's been leaving himself the same type of shot after every break. Yeah. He just has to adjust maybe how he's hitting the cue, trying well, to leave himself up table. But he's oh, he's dropping the ball and not scratching, so. That's even a plus. Even if he's got to play a safe off, off the break. True. He just hopes something like this doesn't start eating at him. You know, Earl. What? Yeah, no. He's not getting a good, a good leave after the break. A lot of times players will let that bother him. It won't. He's going to try and slice it in. You've got to watch out for the 10 ball if he comes down table and hits that 10. Oh, he overthinned it. And now he's going to leave uh, Evgeny a shot. Evgeny Stalev. Yeah. Stalev? Stalev. From Russia. Just started to play pool again. He was big. Strong player. 2006, 2007 still, in this area. He still knows how to get out. Oh, yeah. 
obviously doesn't like what he's looking well, he at. He might not be able to get past the eight fully without a little bit of a spin shot, yeah. And that's going to leave him tucked behind the five. Oh, so he had to spin it to get past the eight, and that spin pulled him behind the five. Yeah. Well, he's once again, two rails out of the once again, he's leaving himself poorly. Yeah, he's coming to kick, kick this two rails, trying to make it. I don't know. May as well call it. You have no other choice. I, I would say maybe play it safe off it. And again, he left himself a little bit unlucky to get stuck behind the five, but yeah. he's he's not hitting. But he's not hitting away. This is an undefeated hits. match. He still have another barrel. Oh hell yeah! He's got another barrel. Sure. Both of them. Whoever wins or whoever loses has true, still has true. the barrel. Now Earl's in good 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 position in here to go up another game. He might go up five one on uh, Evgeny. But like you had said, that's that's al almost irrelevant. It's almost irrelevant at this level. Mm. Because we all know Earl can run four or five. Boy, this is we all know if Jenny can run, you know, he can put a package together. This is not a cherry picker. No. Well, was frozen on the rail. He's kind of tied up. He's jacked over to 10. Perfect. Beautiful. Only problem was this is the position he's left himself. Now, I saw him earlier today practicing almost this exact <coughs> shot. Yeah. Five ball was down a little bit further, but he just rolls it right in. He'll get between the uh, eight, and eight and nine. Perfect. You can almost play a stop shot here on the six. Maybe come back an inch or two. Perfect. Roll it up. I think he goes forward on this one, two rails. He, nothing fancy. Well, he decided to pull it back. See, I think going forward looked easier because holding it uh, was a little tough. And otherwise, he'd have to overhead it. But he still got out. He's up five to one over Evgeny. And he's not making too many mistakes, Earl. You know what I'm saying? So he's playing pretty good. He's uh, he's doing pretty good right now. He played well yesterday, also very well. Did he? I didn't get a chance to come down, and I couldn't even watch it online because my uh -huh. internet crapped out on me. Don't you just love that? Now I got to wait until Monday for them to come and fix it. So I figured, you know what? I'm coming down today. I'm on vacation this week. Get a chance to do some commentary. All right. <laughs> Well, we always like having Michael Fingers on always. board. Always. Oh, I appreciate that. I hope you guys out there in the chat like it, too. I hope we get Mike back on playing again. That's I'm, all. I'm getting close. It's a, it's, it's, it it has to do with his occupation now. Yeah. Well, well of course you know, it does. Sure. He's a painter now. No. Besides <laughs> UPS. Yet. Not yet. He's, he's got the brush work going. Well, I don't know if you've seen some of his latest work. Kim, really no, I haven't seen the latest. Yeah. I've seen some of his work, but not the latest. And I kind of like the name as, you know, as an artist, Michael Fingers. You know, that's, yeah. like, <laughs> that's like meant to be, man. Well, you know. Well, Earl didn't drop a ball. and uh, I started doing that because it's so much easier on my lower back. Right. Oh. Yeah, I know I you know. have back issues. I know. Yeah. But I'm getting past them, though, so I can play again. Uh, it's easy for me to move and get around. Thank God. Good. And uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to start playing tournaments again. Man, I missed that. And then all i got to say is watch out for you guys because I'm getting sick and tired of watching these on the stream. There you go. I'm going to start beating everybody. Hey, that that on, sounded like an indirect uh, threat to everybody out there in the everybody country. Everybody take notice. <laughs> uh, enough is enough. Just don't mess with the champions. That's, that's all. Now I'll mess with everybody. I could give a shit. That's the one that... That's beep. The, that's beep. beep. Where's, the, where's the pause button? Pay-per-view. <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> oh, we're good. Okay. But, yeah, I'm never afraid to mix it up with these guys. That's how you get better. You have sure. to play these yeah. guys. You know what? I enjoyed ruining their, their day. I used to go to the big events and I'd stop beating these guys and sending them home. I'm not, I'm not guaranteed to win it, no, but I'm going to ruin it for a lot of other people. That's what everybody tries to do. Uh, and that's what it is, man. Get better, yeah. have some fun. 
people start taking notice? Meanwhile, you know, Eugene, I mean, I'm going back maybe uh, 10, 12 years ago. This this kid was virtually unstoppable. Yeah, we were just talking about that a yeah. minute ago. Yeah, and then he, you know, then he started playing cards, you know, and got into poker and like every, like a lot of... For a lot of years. And now he's back to pool again. Well, a little bit. I think he actually moved to New York. He's in the New York area, I think, seven months out of the year. He said that he doesn't play much because of his job. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I said, you can tell it to somebody else. Right. I know you're too long. <laughs> really nice. And, and, and he, he came a long way with his English, too. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he, he really is. He happens to be, you know, never gets out of line with anybody. Or no. no. But, you know, I remember a long time ago, I think it was like Country Club or something. We were up in Connecticut. Yeah. And uh, Eugene at that time was just new on the circuit in the States. And... One of his backers had about ten to twenty thousand in cash tucked in a money belt in his waist. Yeah, and it was oh. a big tournament. Keith was up there. Keith McCready, I was uh, there. Larry, uh, I was Scotty. There. You know, everybody yeah. was there. You were probably there too. Yeah. And his backer was, you know, going around saying, you know, because Eugene didn't speak that much English, but his backer did. They're looking for action. They're going to play anybody. So I went over to Keith McCready. I said, Hey, Keith. I said, This guy's got about ten to twenty k. He's looking to gamble. They played Keith bank said, pool. Keith said, who? No, well, that was that was between Larry Lascotti and Keith and him. Yeah. yeah. That was different. No, but after that, his backer was barking at everybody. So Keith said, well, who's the guy with the bank? I said, this guy right here. He says, okay. He says, see if he wants to play Earl. Right. He says, uh, I said, but Earl's not gambling. Yeah. Right. He says, look, Earl will gamble for my money. See if he wants to play. And all we did was we mentioned that we're going to wake up Earl Strickland right. to come play. And as soon as... Eugene heard Earl Strickland. He said, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember he played Keith uh, Bankpool. Yes. 5,000 a game. Well, what had happened, well, you know what had happened. Yeah, that I game. They won the breaking even. Yeah. Uh, he actually beat Larry Lascotti first. Yeah, right. And then Larry, uh, Keith and said, you can't leave with my money like that. you right. got to give us a shot. And right. then Keith just drilled him. Well, that's a while back. Yeah, a while. How long ago, Larry? Gee, where's the years go by that quick, man? They do go by. Oh. I'll tell you how far back that was. At Amsterdam Billiards still had the place on the east side. Yeah, yeah, you're it right. It was around that time, and I don't remember the year. I don't remember yesterday. <laughs> so <laughs> You're right. That's how fast they go by. Well, that's good because you owe me 50 bucks. <laughs> Is that? Oh, don't you, you, right? you don't remember? I rem that? He's right. late on your mortgage. So you got to pay <laughs> on, dude. I, I wasn't going to say nothing. I thought he would remember, right. but since you don't remember, <laughs> I'm going to have to mention it to him. All right, guys, yeah, 5 to 2, the USA, Earl Strickland. This USA Russia thing started last night when they found out they were matching up. He's got a good break. Hard break. Solid, yeah, solid break. Huh? Well, he was leaving the cue ball in a halfway decent spot, yeah. you know, uh, a little higher up than Earl was, and he's got a better shot at the one. Uh, he was kicked down by the two, but he still he still has a good shot. And you don't want to play this gentleman in Russian billiards. No. At all. I heard, I heard he's, he's top notch. Oh. And you don't want to lift his cue stick either. Yeah, 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 you were telling me that oh yesterday, it, like a 20-ounce cube. What 20? It's about 27 ounces. 27-ounce cube. <laughs> it looks kind of fancy with the, uh, the the inlay work going up the shaft there. Yeah, missed that ball. He tried to hold it for the two. Yeah. Well, this Earl's is tricky. Er See? Yeah, Earl's going to just try and cut it in. Yeah, he's he just tries to, to cut it in. He rolls it two rails past the nine. No, I, or he could hold it I inside. I think he called it in behind Yeah, him. he's going to cut it. He's he, going to cut it to his he right. He might tickle the five here. Yeah. No, no, no. Hitting with some inside English. Yeah. Missed the one. Well, tough, tough to get on the two. You know, hard shot it by itself, yeah. but trying to do something to stay on the two is... Uh, Surprised he didn't play to the five ball, uh, really. He could have tickled the five and rolled out, he, but, you know, he had a chance of getting caught up behind the nine then, so he took the right way out. Meanwhile, we're back at the ranch, and Eugene's up, and he trails by three. So yeah. this, this could be uh, an interesting game. This is a big game right here. 
Yep. Uh, what is, is that the, uh, I guess, English pronunciation of his name, Eugene? Yeah, Eugene. Yeah, that sort of translates, Well, you Eugene? know, I, I seen his name, and I spelt it many different ways in tournaments when he used to play in Queens and everything. I always spelt it with a U, yeah. you know. No. So I actually called him over to the booth prior to the match getting started. I said, look, I've seen your name spelt many different ways. How do you, I, this is the way the he The proper it. way to spell this it. This is it. Evgeny, Evgeny, I think it is yeah. in Russian. Yeah, I, well, we yeah. call him Eugene in yeah. the States. Oh, yeah. If he don't like it, he can just leave. I guess he can go home yeah. if he doesn't like it. <laughs> He's a great guy. And pack up his bags and... <laughs> Actually, he does have some family watching on the pay-per-view, and we'd like to say hello to everybody out there, uh, Eugene or Ezane or Stalib. We'll Jenny? We, yeah. we, call, we, call call him, we call him Stalib here. Yeah, we'll just call him the Russian kid. I think he's the only Russian kid playing. So, no, uh, don't call him the Russian, whatever no. you do. Well, we, we'll, we'd like to say hello. The angry Russian? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't mean that. We have another Russian. <laughs> Stevie. Stevie. <laughs> yeah. He still owes me 20 bucks, I think. He owes everybody <laughs> 20 bucks. I'm making a lot of money in here today. Larry <laughs> owes me 50, this guy. Steve Look at this owes shot. me a deuce. How do you there hit you it? go. How do you hit it? Well, it stay, holds up a little bit. He doesn't get behind a 10. Yeah. We're going to have a 5-3 game here. Uh, let's see. Can he get to it past the 10? He, he'll, he'll yeah, know. he's got the he's shot. He's got it. He has no problem. I'm looking at the table. Almost caught that point. That would have gave him a problem. Gonna go up one round. Perfect. Now all he has to do is roll this in. That Andy Cloth, I think, plays pretty good, they were saying. Well, the mechanic, John, it you know. Plays, but it plays, it, they say it holds a little better than the Simonis, even though it slides when it's new. I was gonna say, what do you mean it holds? It, in other words, the you cues don't, don't slide as much. Don't cue ball? Once it, you're playing, it doesn't slide as much, but it does wiggle. If you play a very slow, you get roll. roll. You get a you, roll from you it. You get a, a little bit of a. And snake. I'll teach you a little more about that. You know, the mechanic John. Uh, he's been doing this 42 years. I know him probably yeah. 30, and he. Uh. I'll explain that off the air later on to you. Uh, what he's taught me about this cloth. Yeah, it's the way the cloth is constructed. That's what I was going to say. It's the weave of the cloth. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's, all, there's a, b a little bit of nylon in there that's creating yeah. that. Yeah. Along but in any case, Upstate Owl sponsor is Simone's Cloth and Aramith Balls. We just want to give right. them a big shout out because uh, that company's been tremendous helping us stay on the road. But uh, Andy Cloth. Uh, well, is, uh, Earl's up. The, uh, he's got something. Yeah. Earl's up. Rolls. He's got something to shoot at here. Yeah, I was going to say they can't be bad if they're being played on for the World Straight Pool Championship. <laughs> Larry, yeah, well, you could say it, Larry. It's all right. <laughs> it's a, don't whisper, because we can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> it's free. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. It's well, Charlie, one of Charlie's sponsors, and that's part of the agreement. Is that they come in and uh, put the cloth on all the tables? E the even morning. still, even still. Yeah, it's still my, a cloth. my point is that yeah, it has yeah. to be has to be a pretty yeah. good cloth. Well, you know what? Like everything else, people have their positives and their negatives about of everything. You know, so this is not it's all good. And all the negatives don't mean anything, so you don't listen to them. This is not a the, simple. The bottom line is everybody's playing on equal terms. You know, yep. you're both playing on the same. This thing. is not a simple table at this point. No, he's got to play the three. He's got to play the four. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of going into the uh, six or eight with the four. He's got to bump it. No, he doesn't. Not now. Well, what is it? Well, no, I think, I what, think. What opportunities are you going to have? Make I the five and come back? Yes, course? yes, no. absolutely. I think he can bump off the six and no. with a little draw, right hand uh, draw, and come back around for the five. Yeah, well, then he's got to watch out for the nine. He's going to have to watch out for where the six goes because he's bumping that he's across gotta, the table. He's got to watch this shot right here. No, this is pretty simple. He can just come forward and then come back out for the four. Well, he decided to go two rails, surprisingly. He can play it in the corner past the ten. Or he can play the ten if he wants. No. You don't have to I mess with the I six, see eight. him playing this in the side pocket. Yeah, I don't think he's yeah, going to take he this won't combination. Play I don't see him playing this, this in the side. Yeah. No? No. You think got corner does, it, does it go down the corner? It's a dangerous shot in the I side. Th I think it would go past the 10. If That's it goes I mean. past the 10, then he's going to play it down there. But uh, if it doesn't, mm -hmm. he's going to play it in the side pocket. It's it's going to be I tight. See. No, he's playing, playing the 10 the ball. ball. He just called it. 10 ball must be like a quarter, an eighth of an inch off the rail. That's making a tough it a big shot. ball. Yeah, right, right. Tough. But I like it because if he makes it, he instant win. If he misses, Stelev yeah. has still got to deal with the 6-8. 
So I like this shot. I think he's going to make it. Oh there you go. Earl's nice. What a beautiful combination. Makes my job easy, doesn't he? <laughs> Thanks, Earl. <laughs> and you hear <laughs> applause coming from the booth. <laughs> That's Larry. <laughs> That's me. Well, That's Larry's horse. That's Larry's no, boy. Well, one of my horses. <laughs> I think he's the only horse left running. La Larry, <laughs> Larry has a bunch of thoroughbreds. <laughs> yeah, he owns one of the last stables in New York, I think. Right, I don't know. No, hope. but I love Earl, you know. Yeah, we all do. I know him since he was like 14, you know. Love him, I hate him. He's a champ. And he yeah, shoots he's, it. Uh, you know. What was that, like 60 years ago? That's, you know what? <laughs> Almost. You know, good thing, good oh, point. Not even close. You just brought up a good point. I, we mentioned it yesterday in the booth. You get Earl, you got Johnny. Archer and many other players that are up there in age still competing with these guys, you know, and, and competing well. You know, you got to give them credit. Absolutely. He can't get a roll. No, and that's what I meant before. I mean, if it's going to start wearing on him, it might, it might drag his focus down a little bit. No, no, he'll have to adjust the break, but he, he's afraid if he adjusts, he could scratch. Right. I know, he always worries about that more than anything else. Yeah, well. I mean, he's talented enough to practice a break a little bit, work something out. He practices every day. Make a deal. One. We'll see what uh, if Jenny has here. Looks like he can go one rail yeah, and come back across. He's got to hit this one, though. He's he does have a shot. Uh, very difficult. A little thin. Yeah, he's going to play it, though. Yeah. I don't he, think he has I a wonder, choice. You think he plays it in the corner or the side? No, he's going in the side. Corner, corner. I think he's going side, maybe. No, he can't get that in the side. Nope. He got lucky. Not quite. Well, maybe. If Earl, can see, if Earl can't see it past the five. I think Earl's got a shot. Yeah, he's got a shot. Yep. And then yet again, if Johnny makes a mistake... And leaves Earl in perfect position to go up one more game. That's going to put him up seven to three on a race to nine. You know, I mean, that's right there. That's the finish line. It's right there. You can smell it. <laughs> you know, he's got no. There's no issues here, really. I'm laughing a little, Mike, because. The finish line is when the 10 ball falls. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> That's the finish line. Sure, but when you're shooting a nine and the 10's <laughs> hanging, you could see it, you know what I mean? You still have to get there. Oh, sure see? you do, sure you do. Right. He's not, he, a, not where he wanted to be here. No, he's gonna really have to draw this ball. Right. Ooh, he drew it with the inside. Yeah. Uh, and he didn't get where he wanted. I don't nope. think the six goes by to seven. No. I do not think that's going to happen. Nope. All right. He thins the, the left side of the six, and he rolls the cue up behind the seven. How bad is that cut? I know he, believe it or not, he... he no, he ain't cutting this in the side. I know that's what you're thinking. Don't look here. Look I'm there. looking at the table. Oh, all right. I, I've done this more than once, Larry. Oh, I know you have, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Well, let's see what he's doing. He's going to go into the seven if he does that, and he's got no control over what happens next. Unless he plays the ball behind the seven, the cue ball. That's Yeah, that's the first thing I had said. And that, that to me, I mean, it's a, it's a natural. That's what he's going to do. That's what he's doing. Yeah, but you don't want that six to come out either. Just roll it. Ah, he decided to force it four rails. That's nice a shot. good shot, too. He oh called it. Oh, my goodness. He left uh, Evgenia a window there between the uh, 10 and 9. But still, it was a good shot now. Yeah. He's got to deal with this. This is tough. This is going to be tough. Yeah. It's kind safe here, though. A little bit, yeah, but the cue's going to roll. It's a good shot. Yeah, all right. He, he finally came up with a good safety when he needed it. Might just try to get this to the bottom rail here with a kick. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna the cue ball. Yeah, he's got a good chance of getting it behind it behind the ten. <laughs> Earl's right by the mic on the table. You guys can hear his own commentary. Yeah. Come on, Earl. 
thousand times in a row from this picture. I'd rather kick down there and hit it. Well, let's see what he's going to do. He's a little upset with the position, but... No. Well, let's see what he can do. I think... I think he can kick this to the side rail, to the bottom rail. And keep the cue ball up high. We're going to have to see what he wants to do. Uh, he's going to try and go two rails. He's going to play two rails. It's not a bad shot. I still like the one rail over here. Oh, I do too. But from here, if he thins it, he might be able to get past the 10. Oh, so he hit a little bit thick, but... You know, from where he was, yeah. not a bit, not a bad lead. Right, and Jenny just says he's got a pretty decent shot at it, but he's got to watch the cue coming back across the table. If he can play a little bit of left and stay above the ten, yeah, even go into the ten. I mean, good shot. Now, if he can just stay in control, he'll get back into the set. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, he's in good position. He's gonna he's gonna get one game back against Earl, and he's gonna be down four to four to six in this race to nine. See if I can get updates or scores from some uh, other games. I'll take a look. I'm going to send Larry around. Uh, here we got, uh, I don't know who's up, but with Zion and Mike Davis. Yeah, 4 we to 3. 4 3. We have. Uh, All right. Now another, another really good break from Stalev. Dennis Hatch. Eugene. And John Smith. And he's got a good shot on the two. Can play one rail to come back out for the three, and then he, he might start. Uh, he might start playing very well here. Put some beads back on his side, make this a real match. Tighten it up a little bit, and we'll see how Earl responds to that. Yeah, there's really there's really no tricky spots here. No. Follow the dots. Yeah, pretty much. It's a connected dot. Getting on the seven could be the the only real hiccup. I think he's going to just come back to the side rail. He decided to go forward. Yeah. That was a risky shot. He's in good position now to get on the eight and in, in, in the side he's standing there. That was the issue if he would have played the cue backwards and stayed on the long rail. Oof. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a smile a little bit after that one. He's just making it interesting, that's all. Draw it one rail. Perfect. Hitting with that cue is like hitting with a pipe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lift it like a mic. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to see. Uh, See what it weighs. Larry's saying it weighs around 27 ounces. That's what it feels like. Oh, 
now he's only trailing one game. He's down six to five. It's a race yep. tonight. He's breaking. He's been winning games. That's what I'm saying. This is uh there's no easy match in a race to nine. No. Not at all. Not at this level. All right, now, if you guys want to learn how to break, uh, watch this guy. Yeah. He's hitting him like Shane does, man. Well, he's he also playing with a pipe. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. It's a heavy cue. Yeah. He puts the nine down. He's got good position on a one. Now he overrolled no. his position a little bit. We have mobile camera in operation. Right. That's a nice feature because once this match is over, you might be able to pan the camera to another table. No, we can't get it to another. No. We can only get it up this way. Well, all right. Well, I wishful thinking, though. Yeah, all right. Something for them to work on, that's all. You know, strive for better, you know what you I'm need, saying? You need a uh, 360 job. For That'll that. work. What's yeah. wrong with that? Trying to play a little bit of a tricky safe. He's going to leave him tree-topped over the s over the two ball, but it's all right. And no way to go with the one. No, so Earl's going to have to come up with something. He's going to hit it straight in the face and try and draw back behind the balls. Oh, he just decided to play a short safe behind the seven. And then hopefully the cue rolls faster. Get Came behind too the five. Far. Yeah. Came too far. See, left him a left him a shot. Stella's gonna have to try to draw this with spin and hit the two. He's got to clip that two. Oh, mm. he missed a one though. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Or well, can give this back if you don't like it. Yeah. You don't even have to. Well, he can see this ball. No, I don't know if he can. He didn't. No, he didn't. I think didn't he hesitate. Can. Didn't hesitate. He gave it right back. To him. <coughs> Gave it right back to him. No, no. Earl said, no, thank you. This does not fit. Take it back. Oh, I'm so glad I got a chance to get back in the booth again. Would you believe? Well, you know Al? what? You got an open invitation, Well, I appreciate Michael, that. You don't have yeah, to fall I'm up taking a, Would you I'm believe it's been over taking a Taking a breather, guys. Well, Larry's going to step out for a second. All right. Would you believe it's been over a year since I've done commentary? That long already? Yeah, last year's Steinway. Well, you talk so much on Facebook that uh, well, I didn't yeah. realize it. <laughs> no one knows. They, you keep hearing me. <laughs> yeah, it's been that long. I it's been a year, last year. Goes, goes by Don't quick. blink your eyes. Meanwhile, uh, Earl gave that shot back to Eugene, huh, because of the rule that's here on the Predator. Call shot, call safe. One in the side. Wow, pocket. he's going to try and thin this one. He should be okay if it goes in. Nice. He's just got to hit it a little bit, a little bit. Now he's got a tough shot. What do you think he does here? I think he goes for it. You know, he fires these shots right in. Yeah. He's got to be a little careful, though. I mean, the only position he's got to worry about is getting on the three, but it's he's blocked by the five. These are four-and-a-half-inch pockets, but they're not pro-cut, you know, like the diamonds are. But, right. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a little tighter than last year. Yeah. The Good. rest of them, off the throw, right and left, are four-and-three-quarter, but this TV table is four-and-a-half. Nice. Well, it should be a little tight, you know. These, these are the top players. Shouldn't shouldn't bother they them. Actually, the players are the ones that voted on it. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Well, you might not see as high a run this year than in the straight pool next week. <laughs> you can hear Earl talking to Eugene. He said, "Don't move your head. You got me." Trails what a shot. What trails a shot. it. He did. He did the only thing he could do from there. Well, I wish those golfers would do this to each other. A little bit of left-hand spin to come out past the five-seven. Oh, no, yeah, he didn't get enough I spin on. I, I think there was just not that much room that he could use that yeah. spin and try to escape the five. So that's yeah. why I elected to do that, compensate for the hit. Very possible. 
we could listen in on Earl. Yeah, he's going to have to just thin this one. He's got to watch out. Side pocket and the eight ball are big in the shot. He's got to plant it on the ten ball if you can. Cut the cut the, the four ball to go one rail or two rails right behind the ten and bring that cue ball somewhere in the vicinity of the five. I don't know if he can come out that long or well, try to duck up behind the six. That's what I mean, yeah, where the eight he, was. I'm pretty sure he wanted to uh, hit that ten ball in the face with it. True, but he had to adjust where he hits it based on the eight, you know. That's yeah. right where you want to come. That's the natural angle the Q wants to take, and it, it, he's got something there. Oh, boy. What, what did you got going on here, Al? Um, looks, like, looks like lunch. Wow, egg, cheese, bacon. That ain't dinner. Man, all right, all right. that doesn't look half bad there. What do you think, folks? You think Al's the type of guy who's going to share his, his dinner? <laughs> I guess he will. That that would be sweet. And a Pepsi. Well, you know, I, I didn't get the lunch call. Anyone else see a lunch call? Yeah, you, your lunch is up there. Nice uh, shot. He carried off the four, please, the ten. That's what I thought he was going to do. I just got in here late. I wasn't even watching Because it. of the because of the Russian billiard experience, you know, that those shots to him are like, right. you know, the nuts. I was watching the egg and bacon and cheese come dancing past my nose. No, no cheese. No cheese, huh? Oh, yeah, they did put cheese. Yeah. Well, it's part of the job, I guess. Well, if, if Al doesn't like cheese on a sandwich. <laughs> All right. Six apiece, ladies and gentlemen. Six apiece now. Like I said, you know, Eugene starting to play a little better. Made a good break. Got a ball down. Uh, can't tell if the one goes by the two. Even if it does, he's going to have a little bit of an issue. He's going to have an issue getting on the two. But well, we'll see what he does. He could play safe. It looks like he when he wants to play. It looks like it does squeak past. Is he gonna try and stab down on this to hold it? Can he get that much cue ball? Yeah, well, apparently you can see enough of it with went past and he could he could cue it. They're just gonna slice this in. Four rails. Anyway. Or or just short of four rails. How about perfect? Just short of perfect. Yeah. Our old last rack got off a uh, little bad shape on that four. Yeah. Got a kick on the whatever. But anyway, we have a match. Yeah, we do. <coughs> all started off great in this set. Well, it wasn't a matter of Earl. It was a matter of still leave his break when he well. was at the table. Playing good now. I think he goes four rails with this one. He wants to hold it at inside. Yeah, it's a little risky. Oh, well, look at this. Watch out, side pocket. He plays that inside English pretty good. Yeah. Well, he's used to hitting that big, that big Russian ball they play with. Right. There you have it. Wow, we have a new leader, folks. All right. New leader. If Jenny is now up on Earl Strickland. Seven to six. And he's breaking good. Yeah, his break is working. That's what Shane said. This game is all the break at the level these guys are. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you don't come with the break, you know, you might as well stay home. Well, so yeah, he's taking a way ahead of you, Larry. Okay, good. One of us has to pay attention. No, I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm just tired. Yeah, I don't blame <laughs> Here you. from opening the whole finish last night. Right. Yeah, long day. It's a long day. 
And there you go. He's got a powerful break. And it looks like the one's going to drip in there. He's got a shot on the two. Yep. Three's kind of open. Yep. Kind of open, I say, because it's going to be a little tricky. He might have to come past it. So he's looking oh. to play the three on the side. He's going to play 310 if he gets up on no, his side. No, no. He won't do that. Okay. Uh, I don't think he can get get to where he needs to play. He can play the 310. You mean maybe a Karen? You know, he's limited with what he can do with the two ball. If he can play a little high, yeah. he can come up inside the side pocket there, above the side pocket, he'll come past the three. He can play it in the same side pocket that the cue's going to go by, and uh, from there, shouldn't have too much of an issue. He floated it. Yeah. Well, that worked out good. He tried to come past it, but yeah. ended up hitting right into it. And He can go forward or backwards. The only thing he's got to worry about is his position. Oh, he ended up hitting a six, unfortunate. But he, he's far enough, he's got a cut shot on the four. Five's in the middle of the table, so he'll play this. High ball, two, two or three rails. Five looks like it goes past the eight and 10 in the side there, so. Doesn't matter where the cue stops, pretty much, you'll have a shot on the five. He's got a stretch for another shot here. Uh, hit it pretty good. Made it. He might just play a stop shot and put this up in the corner. Yep. Well, he had a little bit more angle than I thought. I thought he would be able to stop it without hitting that side rail. Now he just has to make the six. Just focus on making the six. That's about it. Well, Strickland could be in trouble now. He is in trouble. Lev is making quick work of this last drive. Yep. It's going to put him on the hill. On the hill. Yeah. On wow. The hill. Well, Strick Earl was winning 6-3 at one point. This has been uh, all, all Stalev here. And you know Earl's upset with the break. You know, he got left. Uh, he was getting he was getting the rolls in the beginning of the set, and he took advantage of it. And then Stalev is playing a little bit better, and it's working out for him now. And he's going to end up winning the set almost. It looks like. Or yeah, it depends. Be depends on this. Yeah, this this right here. Let's see what happens. And a good break. Put a ball down. He got a little unfortunate kiss. He got a very fortunate kiss with yeah, the five. Yeah. Put him wow. right in the hole, right? Well, yeah, he's dead straight on the one now. Now he can get on the two. He's got a shot on the one to get on the two. Everything else is, is kind of clear. Oh. oh. He didn't hit that one the way he wanted. We see the possibility of a little life here. Yeah, Earl, Earl does have. Stop. He's got to watch out, though. He's got to. Yeah, the three is right there. He's going to go forward and play the three in the opposite corner pocket. Yeah. He should be fine, though, from here. Just hit it and go forward. He might should have three in the three. He's going to try and hold it. Oh, he just forced a pass. That was a good shot. Everything this guy does is beautiful. Well, Earl's still going. He should he should calm down and start focusing on a table. 
He's all right. He'll just just button it out a little bit. That's all. Yeah. yeah. That helps too sometimes. Yeah. Just don't punch it, baby. That's all. Don't punch it. Just roll it forward. Sorry, people. He's one of my horses, so yeah. <laughs> forgive me. I mean, I should be unbiased. I am. Six looks like it goes by to seven. He's done. Easy. Three rails, nice and easy. One rail up, center to table. Ralph's gonna get one game back. There you have it. Ralph Strickland is not done yet, folks. He's now down by one game, race to nine, breaking. All he needs is a good break right here. Tie it back up. A good break either way. Yeah. Drop a ball or... He just needs to see the one, and it's been going up table after every break. So if he can at least just stop the cue or bring it back a little bit. Well, he made the one on the side, he made the five, he made a couple of balls, and he's got a shot of the two. Uh, he's got a little congestion. But if he gets on that four, pretty good. Six is right there by the side, three will be gone. Earl's got a good chance well, here to get this game, too. Well, you gotta watch the three also, Mike. There he goes, stop shot here. Uh, he's got to stop. I mean, <laughs> nudge the four, baby. Nudge it. There you go. What a shot. That worked out real nice. A little close. Push the old nine out of the way. Perfect. Just what Earl needed. Stay a little focused here and tie up this set. Well, you don't want to overrun it. You don't want to overrun it. You know I'm not going to miss a Hill Hill set right here. I got to get back in with you. Well, he, he may draw the noise. He's going to go forward, it looks like. Yeah. He decided to go up table with the nine. Not bad from where he was. Nine's off the, t off the rail enough. It should be, uh, shouldn't be a problem. There you go. Hill, hill, folks. For the first match first of the match day, Earl yeah. Strickland. The USA versus Russia. Hill, hill. Gotta like it. You're getting your money's worth now, folks. Absolutely. Right? First day of the match, hill, hill. Well, basically, $25 for two days is $12.50 a day. I mean, I uh, don't think that's uh, too high of a price. Manny and I were discussing that before we actually... No, and how many matches are you watching today? Six? Five or six oh, at least? Oh, we were here at two in the more, morning. More, right? more, yeah. More. Oh, there you go then. Two dollars a match. Shit. AZBilliards.com. Earl didn't like what he gave himself, so he's going to be NYC Grind. Gotham City Technologies. Everybody jumping on board to make this possible. Simonis. Aramis. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Earl Strickland. Eugene Staliv. Hill Hill as they fist pump each other. And Earl says good luck to his opponent. You think he means that? Yeah, just for a split second. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's forgotten. Then it's back to business. And he slugged himself he, a bit. That's exactly what he said. I he did not myself. leave himself a shot on the one. Uh, still have, does have a cut shot. Everything is kind of kind of little, little congested on the bottom half of the table. But if Eugene can slice the one in and get on to two, you, you got to like him from this position. See how he ends up on the two. 
I'm gonna try and play it in a side pocket. It turned out pretty good. He's in a good spot from now. You know, Hill Hill, this is gonna be a a hot out no matter what he tries to do. Of course. You know, we get the pressure of uh, He didn't want to come off the eight. The score. He got a little funny there too. I mean he can still make it in the corner pocket and play yeah. the four on the side. Yeah, it's just gonna roll forward. He doesn't need to do anything else. High ball, that's it. Gets to the five, it's game over. I think it's game over already. Yeah. He's on the five. Six, seven, eight, nine, everything's down us into the table. Look at her, just freewheeling, huh? Yeah, he's done. What a great player. Just got off that rail a little bit. Earl, you know, they give you these uh, throw-up bags when you're uh, on an airline, just in case you need it. And that's the way Earl looks right now. He's so sick that he slugged himself on that, that yeah. rack. Yeah. Hey, now. Beautiful. Yeah. There you go, and Earl concedes. And there you have it, Eugene Staliv defeats Earl Strickland and eliminates Earl Strickland out of the Steinway Classic. No, 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 this is winner's side, isn't it? Isn't this winner's side? Larry, was this a B-side match? Great, now you got me stumped. I thought this was... They're both undefeated? I stand corrected, This is undefeated, folks. yeah. This so is an undefeated match, so Earl Strickland is not eliminated. No, he's still in But in any case, he lost this match. And what a match it was. Michael Fingers, thank you for sitting in. And we're going to hear a lot more from Mike. Yo, oh, yeah. I'll be here all week, I Upstate's think. Upstate is going to use him like a stepchild today. <laughs> I'm going to get beat like a red-headed, <laughs> rented mule. But anyway, folks, we're going to be right back with another match as soon as they call it. And we want to thank you for watching right. this Nine-Way Classic. Yeah, stick around. We'll be right back at you.